Things are going from bad to worse for Airbnb. All right, friends, welcome to the show. Always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. We got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. We're just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. Why? Because nobody else will. Man, the stuff that we have to, to read between the lines and look between the cracks of out there socially, economically, and politically, everything's coming in to play. But the realities to, uh, are what we're dealing with right now, friends, is most of us, and if you're new, like I said, if you're new, welcome. We're glad you're here. We think you made a very smart choice. I remember in the last boom era, I was a deer in the headlights. I don't want that to be anybody out there. So today we're going to continue to heat map and temperature check the biggest asset class in the world, the U.S. housing market. And oh my gosh, stimulus ushered in more investor, institutional and retail investors than ever seen before. It was a casino climate, a slot machine that continued to pay out. But the house always wins. The house is about to win again, my friends. And the name of the casino is Airbnb will be on the opposite side. Actually, the house won't win if it's Airbnb. They're taking a massive haircut. Listen, their stock's sky high during crisis because it was stimulus. It was all pumped up on stimulus. People didn't want to go to hotels. Or maybe they couldn't Airbnb seemed like a good choice, and we had all this money to spend. Well, that's gone. We know that. How you guys? Well, of course, I'm going to tell you. U.S. savings rate is at an all-time never seen before historic low. People have tapped out of all their stimulus is gone. U.S. credit card use at an all-time never seen before high. They're leaning on credit cards to keep up with what you guessed it, inflation, cost of living. So people aren't willing to go out and just rent airbnbs the way they once were but guess who piled into these markets like i said institutional and retail but a lot of mom and poppers went out and grabbed an airbnb projected earnings based on airbnb rents euphoric top of the market rents and they're gone they're evaporating people are not utilizing airbnb the way they once were by a long shot today we're going to look at Shocking byproduct of what's happening now. It's getting started. This is the front end stuff. I'm going to show you today the front end of what you can expect. We've already had news. I've reported on it myself. Airbnb, Airbnb is, is suffering some blowback. The dust is settling. They're paying the piper. It's bad. It's just bad. It's bad. It's bad. And the only thing that's saving, keeping our housing market propped up, it's at a complete, it's frozen is what it is. Why is it frozen? Well, of course, I'm going to tell you, lack of inventory. We all know that's the only data point left. Saving this market is the lack of inventory is holding those prices up. But interest rates now, the full rug pull. So you'd be an absolute idiot to buy a property right now without examining what exactly is going on with that specific market, understanding your financial exposure, your risk tolerance. And let me just tell you, friends, what we're going to learn today, Airbnbs, it was a casino climate. It was Kool-Aid drinking in the highest form. People got greedy, greedy when others are fearful, fearful when others are greedy. When I saw this greed, and I know many of you did as well, I said, you know what? I think I'll just play it cautious. Just That's all, just cautious. I'm going to you know, still go out there and play and look around. But I'm going to be super cautious in these times. Airbnb buyers were not cautious at all. They based these purchases only on euphoric, stimulated markets. And now those markets are all but changing. Let's cut over and see what's going on with an Airbnb property. Then we're going to meet back here to wrap this one up. Let's get started. Friends, buckle up and strap in. Today's Airbnb is an auction property sent in by one of you, a subscriber. Our email reads, I went to the auction and only three bidders showed up. High bid was only $550,000, which is really low for that area. You can see this estimate of $690,000. At the last minute, just prior to the start of the auction, the auctioneer stated that the highest offer would be presented to the owner for his acceptance. It seemed like the auction was a scam and they were anticipating a bidding war. Well, let's go take a look at our property and see if we can make sense of what's really going on.
All right, first we'll bring up our crash map courtesy of our good friends and failed eye buyers over at Zillow. Today we'll be visiting Boise, Idaho. Now let's take a look at some property photos of our failing Airbnb property stuck on the market and sucking air. Absolutely empty, expensive furnishings throughout, probably rented. Everything's going sideways for this property. Let's look a little closer. It starts off by telling us executive style single level home with stunning finishes on an oversized lot. This four bedroom, two and a half bath home boasts an abundance of natural light and open concept floor plan with 40 foot RV garage. Well, this thing sounds like it was made for Airbnb, but wait, it gets better or worse depending on how you're looking at it. Uh-oh, buried way down at the bottom in fine print. Home is being used as an Airbnb. Property be sold at live auction. Buyer pays a 3% auction premium at closing. 5% earnest money and being sold as is without contingencies. A roll of the dice. This thing's in massive trouble. Let's keep looking. This current property has a mid-range value of $690,000. As we can see from the price chart, chart below, it's absolutely flatlining, getting ready to do a big fat nosedive. And these people are running for the exit. Uh-oh, it gets better or worse again, depending on how you look at it. Even if you were to get this thing at its auction price, your cost to carry would be approximately $3,000 a month. Now let's see what its estimated long-term rent range is. It has an estimated rent range of $2,500 a month. This thing's completely upside down. It can't even survive as a long-term rental, much less an Airbnb. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. So there you go, case and point. This is gonna be a trend that you're now going to see a lot, if not the majority of people high high percentage i've just as a real estate guy i can just tell you i know i know what's going on high the high a high percentage of airbnb buyers didn't check something that they should have checked what's my property's actual long-term rental range not short-term airbnb projected revenues what's this thing on a regular rental market gonna pull they bought these houses and now can't keep up with the payments and the Airbnb income isn't coming in and they know they now they're checking its rent range and they're like, oh my gosh, even if I rent it as a long-term rental, it doesn't cover its payment. We have to dump the asset. Airbnb stock values in massive, massive trouble. Why you ask? Because it was the thing to do during stimulus by Airbnbs. Now it's the thing to do is sell Airbnbs. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Whew, getting worked up here. Be careful out there, friends. I believe we're gonna see a massive wave of Airbnb properties start coming to market. We looked at one today. It makes perfect sense as people are now constricted U.S. savings rate all-time low, U.S. credit card and all, debt at all-time high. People aren't willing to go spend the way they once were when this whole Airbnb explosion happened. And that is bad news for anybody that bought these properties, especially in the height of the super bubble. I'm going to continue to heat map it, monitor it, temperature check it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video and there's an easy subscribe icon. For your convenience, as always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.